So hello, welcome to <coughs> what could be called the Save Go Save Gosnov Save Nosgoth stream because they're going to close the game. I never streamed before or posted any videos of gameplay or anything like that. Not not partly because I'm not exactly a pro player, more of a noob player. And I thought it might be fun to post some stuff before the whole thing goes, disappears completely. So I'm gonna post this video, possibly alter a little bit to try and um, make it a bit more appealing to watch, and play some Nosgoth and see what happens. And probably get killed. Although the last match was a, I played was a win, but I deleted the footage for that because it wasn't really very good. Um, so I'm, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this down a little bit so that you can hear me. Hopefully, because at the moment. It is a bit loud, probably, and I'm fiddling around with settings trying to get the right sound quality. So whilst I'm doing this um, Nosgoth in its end days cast, I'm uh, going to talk about it a little bit. Um, some of the interesting things in the game, some of the gameplay features of it that are quite good. <coughs> so I've got a terrible sore throat and a cricked neck at the moment because I twisted it whilst twisted my neck whilst sneezing which is quite um, retarded no offence to um, anyone there with the use of words but it was quite a stupid thing to do salvaged from the road outside but well beggars can't be choosers also another thing I'm going to do is turn off this blimmin webcam because it annoys the hell out of me in, ma in game so you just have to listen to me I'm afraid which may be a blessing for some I don't know so we have a hunter here who is a long range crowd controlling sort of character alchemist who is basically a level um, chemistry student with um, balls who basically burn stuff uh, scout who shoots things out of the air for you which is quite cool so I think we're gonna go for scout for now and see how we go okay my uh, rest of my team are nearby, nowhere near which is not good Yes, this is going to be a painful match. Especially when you start on the other side of the map from the rest of your team, which does sometimes happen. So my team are not doing terribly well here. I think I might try and stay out of the way slightly by camouflaging myself. Otherwise I'm going to pick up a flat. Not oh, great. Not a good place to start. This is a very popular scout spot up here. Nobody covering the 
scout there. Meaning the scout gets their ass whooped. And then maybe I chose the wrong position from the start, I don't know. Bird is up there. So the V button gives you the possibility of indicating on the map where someone might be. So I'm going to hide out somewhere. Yeah, maybe now. Oh, too slow. Scrape through with enough points, just about. Normally, if you can beat the humans as vampires by about 10 15 points, you've got a good chance of winning. But, it just depends. As vampires, you have a slightly different cast of characters. <coughs> you have the Reaver, who is basically a clam-headed superstar ninja. Oh, I need to update his um, buttons here. Tyrant, who is basically a great big smacker. It's not really a tank, it's more about crowd control and smashing stuff up, absorbing damage. Deceiver, who's sneaky. And I think I'm going to go for the Deceiver, who is basically the sort of mind manipulator and sort of invisible, tactical character in the game.
Fledrin, that's good. <coughs> Yay for Fledrin. Profits are making my life a bit tricky. I have to change. damage from two players. At the same time, it means you end up getting screwed. <laughs> well, never mind. You can't win every match, unfortunately. Two gold, not that there's any point having money now, as they say you can't take it with you. And as the game is finishing, that seems a very apt thing to say. So there we are, yes, everyone was sort of average ish apart from Krypton, who killed a lot of people. I don't know why I said good game, it wasn't that great. <clears throat> 